Now suppose we try to evaluate this line integral. Evaluate the line integral of y dx plus z dy plus x dz along curve c. And curve c is defined this way. Your curve c has two line segments. First line segment starts from line starts from two zero zero and it stops at three four five and the second one is a vertical line which starts at the same terminal point three four five and it stops at three four zero okay perfect so first of all since we're dealing with line segments let's write down the line segment for each of these pieces. For C1, as you remember, they have RT equals to one minus T, R sub zero plus T times R one, and the same for C2. So for C2, RT needs to be written as one minus T, r sub zero plus t r sub one and then we're going to substitute each one of these and try to evaluate each separately so r of t or c1 becomes one minus t and the starting point is two zero zero plus t three four five and r of t for c1 is just 2 minus 2t, two 0, 0, plus 3t, 4t, 5t, which becomes, here you have 2 plus t, 4t, and 5t. So this is my x, this is my y, and this is my z for c1. Okay, let me do the calculation here, and then move on to c2. So here the line integral over C1 is y, which is equal to 40, times dx. dx becomes a 1 dt plus z is 5t times dy. dy is 4 dt plus x, which is 2 plus t times dz, which is 5 dt. Very good. So t ranges between 0 and 1. That's from the definition of writing the vector representation for the line segment. It's bounded between 0 and 1. So let me write this here. Now let us calculate this one, and then we're going to calculate this one and add them together, and it's going to be our line integral. So this becomes 0 to 1, 4t plus 20t plus 10 plus 5t dt, which is 0 to 1. Here you get 29t plus 10 dt. This guy becomes 29 t squared over 2 plus 10 t, 0 to 1, 0 makes the whole thing equal to 0. So here you have 29 over 2 plus 10 or 49 over 2. This is this part. Now let us move on to C2. On C2, RT can be written as 1 minus t times the initial point, which is 3, 4, 5. Remember to write this in vector form, plus t times the terminal point, 3, 4, 0. And this guy becomes 3 minus 3t, three comma 4 minus 4t, comma 5 minus 5t plus 3t, 4t, and 0. Cool. 
So RT is equal to here, you're adding the first components, which is three, and you're adding the second components, which is four, and you're adding the third components, five minus five T. So I have my X, Y, and my Z. Very good. So now the rest of the integrals, zero to one, y is four, four times dx, x is zero, so you're going to get zero dt plus z, which is five minus five t times dy, but y is four, you're going to get zero dt plus x times dz, x is three, and z, dz is going to be negative five. So it's going to be plus the integral 0 to 1. This is 0 plus 0 minus 15 dt. This guy becomes the integral 0 to 1, negative 15 dt, or plus negative 15. So you get 49 minus 30 divided by 2, or 19 over so, so this is the final answer.